Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. It's that time of year where you get really, really excited and the house starts to get really, really glammed up for Christmas and you are busy Christmas shopping. So yeah, we're pretty busy at the moment just putting all our decorations up. It takes quite a while, usually about two weeks in my household. Christmas shopping runs from literally the 1st of October right the way through into December. And today I really, really just thinking about Christmas gifting. Now, if you're anything like me, I have to admit, I'm blessed with a real strong imagination. And I know what to buy everybody in every single member of my family. I know what to get them, whether it's Christmas, whether it's Easter, whether it's their birthday or just a general treat for them. Um, I have to admit, it's something which is my absolute favourite, spoiling people. And I always love to go, if I can, well over the top and really, really spoil them. And most of the time I can, I save all throughout the year to do an absolutely amazing Christmas. It's something which I absolutely love and I really, really enjoy doing it. So Christmas gifting. Um, very often, do you know what? A little bit of a slight moan. And the thing I always hate hearing about this time of the year is when somebody says, I never know what to buy. That's the worst part. I never know what to buy. And you hear all different sorts of variations like that. I work in retail banking and I hear that quite a lot with my customers in our banking hall and when I'm dealing with customers on a day to day basis, particularly around this time of year. So we're coming into December now and as I say, we're busy putting up our decorations. Of course, not everybody enjoys Christmas. Most people do, but we have to respect the fact that some people don't for a number of reasons. Um, but when I hear that, I have to think, how? How on earth can somebody feel that way, that they don't know what to buy their loved ones? And do you know what? What came into my mind is, if you're having that problem, here's a few things which will hopefully help. So for me, how I always stay on top and I use my imagination, which, as I've already mentioned, I have to admit, I'm quite proud of it. I always know what to buy, whether it's for my mum or my dad or my nan or my brothers, my sister-in-law, my nieces, my nephew. <sighs> Again, what I tend to do when we're coming sort of the latter part of summer, I then start, I know it sounds a little bit strange, making a few notes on my phone, on my laptop as notes and putting them aside for later on the year. Asking questions, take an interest in those people we love and cherish. What things are they starting to enjoy? So, for example, what has changed in them? Are they? Getting, are you noticing that they're into something new? Perhaps they've taken up a new hobby. Perhaps I don't know, for example, your mum or your nan has, has tried something different in regards to fashion, what they're wearing, um, appearance, sort of beauty products. Your dad, is he into any particular sports? Mine, for example, is into fishing um, and sort of walking and all of those sort of type of activities. My mum absolutely adores her makeup and her fashion. My nan, very, very similar to that as well. Um, my brothers, again, all around sort of... Uh, some sports and again sort of with real nice sort of classic elements such as knives and catapults. I've bought many of items like that before. Quite easy for my twin brother this year. Um, he's just had a baby girl so an absolute amazing amazing memento in his life and as you can imagine love to go to town. I'm really really spoiled there. Um, so yeah first thing for me would be really when you're coming to the latter part of summer really take note really share an interest go out of your way ask questions and if you're anything like me what I then tend to do is start making notes for myself and then I come back to these and usually as I start to come up to do my Christmas shopping on the 1st of October which has always been a little thing for me then I come back to those notes and it all sort of comes together like a bit of a puzzle and I always think if you don't necessarily know what to buy make Make a point of going out of your way. Ask some questions. Don't make it really obvious, like, what would you like for Christmas? I absolutely hate that. And again, I have family members which say, get yourself something for Christmas. And again, I think to myself, where's the effort? Where's the passion, the love? And that thought, of course, Christmas is all about giving and it's about happiness and cheer. And where is that when somebody just says, buy yourself something you want or is it anything you want? So for me, always take notes sort of way in advance. Preparation makes perfection when Christmas is looming and of course comes and of course on the day how amazing is it where you've done it all off your own back you've done it all off your own mind you've done that effort you've put the hard work in you've thought of these amazing beautiful gifts they open them christmas morning when you've done that beautifully and that, in that wrapping paper and ribbon and if it's me it's ribbon absolutely everything real lavish paper and it's such an amazing the look on their face is priceless and you can just feel that heartfelt connection and it's amazing so my tips are really start early make notes for yourself. It sounds strange, like some sort of lesson, but Christmas has a lot of preparations for it. And very often, if you're busy with things, it could be work, it could be family, it could be it could be a whole host of things. Perhaps you're doing decorating, perhaps you're on a holiday and you've just come back and you're really pushed for time for Christmas. 
Make those notes for yourself. And when you come to do your Christmas shopping and you've got interests and you've got bits and pieces written down for yourself, they really do help. Take an interest. So number one, let's just recap. Start nice and early in the year. Number two, really go out of your way and make an interest and take that time to really understand those loved ones closest to you. It's so, so easy in today's busy world and busy, busy lives which we lead to really just get kind of lost in our own self and our own pattern throughout the year. So when it comes up to Christmas, start nice and early and take an interest into those loved ones of yours. And yet we treasure them and cherish them, but really go out. Perhaps do some kind of detective sort of work. What are they interested in? What have they started recently? Is there an actual, are they start, have they started a new hobby? Are you seeing that person? Perhaps it's your parents, perhaps it's your grandparents or your girlfriend um, has started wearing something different, perhaps another alternative. Do you know what I mean? Really think outside the box. So really lovely one doing it nice and early, really taking an interest. And number three is sometimes don't necessarily go above and um, don't go, uh, don't. if you, for example, and I've done it before. If you think somebody's going to like something, but you're not 100 percent sure and it's super expensive before taking that leap of faith, ask probing questions. I've seen this really, really nice item. What do you think? I'm actually thinking of buying it for myself. Do you know what I mean? So sometimes stretch the truth to get the perfect information for that gift. As you can probably tell, I hate hearing that phrase when somebody says to me, especially at Christmas time. I really don't know what to buy. That's half the battle. It's not. It's half the fun, to be honest with you. It's up in, people won't always see that, but it's fun looking for gifts for your loved ones. And again, the only thing I can say is do that work in the background. Ask those probing questions. You know what I mean? Really, really get to know your loved one. Ask some questions. Take time out and really really perhaps take them for a day out perhaps go and do something really lovely if it's your mum or if it's your nan go shopping with them if it's your dad spend a day with him fishing if it's going out walking sports kayaking brothers easier share bonding time with them absolutely incredible if you're a twin you're blessed like i am you kind of already know what to get all the time throughout the year through the connection you have with them anyway um so yeah <laughs> And again, Christmas is all about picking up those bonds, coming together with happiness, love and really being thankful for what we have as well. And of course, celebrating that that time of we're coming to the end of the year and of course that festive cheer as well. So have a really, really great time with things. Don't let it be a chore. Enjoy it. So give yourself plenty of time as well. So, of course, give yourself plenty of time to do that work, that research on those perfect gifts and really, really put your heart into it. Go above and beyond and really, really take an interest in your loved ones. Three, don't rush it. Don't leave it till the last five minutes on Christmas Eve. I couldn't think of anything worse. So give yourself plenty of time for preparation as well. And do you know what? Talk to others in your family because the worst thing ever is waking up Christmas Day and when you're watching your loved one open that gift thinking, oh my goodness, I've got that gift for them as well. So communication as it is without life, throughout life with our family, our friends and those closest to us, keep communicating. Of course, don't go telling that person the gift, what they bought, and then you've kind of ruined the surprise. So that's just my thoughts on Christmas gifting. And actually, just because I'm so super excited for Christmas this year, it's such a huge thing in my family. It's just so exciting. So that's my little take on Christmas gifting. So have fun with what you're buying and absolutely put your heart and soul into it. It will mean the world to that person who you're giving that gift to. So thank you very much for watching. This will look a little bit more festive, I can assure you in the background. We've only just started putting our decorations up. And for the last couple of days, I've been really, really busy putting up lights and dressing literally everywhere in the house. Uh, it doesn't necessarily look like it at the moment, but I can assure you we have. I've just come back from work and we wore Christmas jumpers today. Absolutely incredible. And it's my most favourite time of the year, if you've not already noticed that. All right. So thanks very much for watching. I really, really loved doing this clip today. And I can't thank you enough for watching. So until next time, we will see you then. And get festive, as corny as it sounds, and enjoy this time. It's a really magical time. So really, really enjoy it. Bye now.